My latest project is Batman. He will be standing on the bat signal. Now this is a kit that took me about two weeks to print up on my resin printer and I was so happy with the quality of the print that came out. Really stoked with um, just, just the sheer size of it as well. The face came up so nicely as you can see there. Very, very happy with it. There's about 27 parts and it took me about two weeks to actually print and I did have a bit of a failure here and there. This cape, I have no idea what happened to it. Uh, still don't know to this day. And also I had some orientation problems. Now the original glove here that I printed didn't, wasn't supported very well so I ended up losing a finger. Now this is the original orientation. You can see just there his uh, fingers disappeared. Didn't ha it wasn't properly supported so I ended up just swapping over how we actually um, was orientated or rather his arm was and I ended up getting a perfect print very happy with the way that turned out the base was so big it, it was too big for my printer so I had to have that um, cut up in four sections now originally when I printed um, these two pieces together I ran into a bit of a problem. I didn't actually estimate uh, how much volume of resin I had in there and uh, unfortunately I ended up running out of resin. Ended up with a bit of an issue here. You can see it didn't quite finish. It was so close to finishing. So I ended up just printing um, each quarter of that uh, by itself. Now this is the center globe. It's a clear piece and unfortunately went yellow when I cleaned it in the cleaning fluid. And also it was way too close to the edge and that's how I ended up getting this imperfection down the side. But luckily for me, it actually will be hidden by the actual bat signal, the spotlight. So it'll be hidden underneath the joint there. So I, was, I came out really lucky in that instance. It'll be hidden and no one will know. So I will light it as well uh, during the process. So let's start uh, clipping it all off from the supports. Now one thing I learned since uh, doing this is the best time to do this is actually straight after you pull it out of the resin printer. That way the resin is still soft and you can just snap it off. Unfortunately because um, I actually cured it it became very brittle and it left these uh, dimples in the um, I'm gonna have to do a bit of sanding a uh, bit of filling and sanding to fix up those little joints but otherwise it came out pretty well I'm just test fitting here as I go Just fitting the cape and the joints were super on this, really came together extremely well. I did some, have some issues with the way I supported the cape, uh, wasn't a perfect uh, surface there, had some indentations in there as well as some um, imperfections which I'll have to sand down. And the, and the small supports just easily came off and just, just snapped off. Same thing happened uh, on this uh, bottom half of the spotlight. I didn't quite do the supports right and I, and I end up with a bit of um, imperfection in there as well. These are the front surrounds, the facades of the, the spotlight as you can see there. Great fit to them. This kit is just amazing. Everything just fitted so perfectly. I just need to learn how to do my supports a bit better, make my life a lot, a lot easier. And that's what the, uh, the quarter pieces, the four pieces look like. I will have to sand them to um, get them all to join properly. And the spotlight just fits on top. You can see by the size of that spotlight, this is a huge kit. So now it's time to clean up all the bits and pieces. I'll be using a combination of the files there, the hobby knife and also a rotary tool. This is 
a fairly easy, easy job to do. Can be a bit fiddly. I, as I went along, I test fitted all the different parts, make sure they fitted and were uh, ground down enough. Some filing on those dimples. And the joints are super, they really fit really well. And just by the size of the leg, you can see how big this kit's going to be. I think completed, it stands about 300 millimeters tall. 350 actually, I think. Unfortunately, the, the print didn't quite turn out too well, so the head doesn't quite fit on to the cape. So I had to uh, get rid of this little um, locating pin. So I ground that down a bit. And then it just fit quite nicely then. You can see that joint's a bit wonky. And once again, that's due to the way I actually had it placed on the, the build plate of the printer, the 3D printer. So that takes a bit of uh, sanding to get it all flat. If, if I had a, a bigger size player, I could have just printed that cape in one, one hit. So more sanding, more filing. And time to fill up some of those dimples that were created by the supports and constant cleaning and that's just a nail file that I'm using there and there's the imp imperfections you can see on the base plate there but I'm actually going to take advantage of it and um, really rust it up a bit so it looks like it's been damaged rather than trying to hide it or redo it I'll just emphasize the fact that it's been damaged Bit of filling, test fitting. Now I had a bit of an issue with the globe uh, once again because of my um, lack of knowledge which supports properly. Uh, the side as you can see as I mentioned earlier uh, the imperfection from being too close to the edge of the, uh, the build plate. Uh, that was going to be hidden by the joint of the light. But because um, yeah, that little area that's uh, warped, I just had to file it down and actually slide it in. Easy job again, and it just fits in perfectly after that. Luckily, it is hidden by the, the framing. And you can see it's a nice fit there. And of course, the bat single, uh, symbol. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and you can follow the work I'm doing. Now, super glue I use just some really cheap stuff that I bought from Bunnings which is a hardware store here in Australia and I think I got like six tubes of those for two bucks and I bought a few packets of those I'm using a bit of uh, super glue there as well as some really fine glass beads here uh, as a filler and that dries instantly becomes rock hard I think the product is called uh, rapid fix from memory now I bought that years ago and I had so much of that beading left over and I've finally got around using it Now for his arm. Now for the cape I'm using this 90 second um, arrow dot by Sellies. Now I decided to use the 90 second stuff simply because 
it dries a lot quicker. So when I do the cape, I don't have to hold it for that long. I don't, I don't have to put any clamps on there or any tape. I just hold it in place for 90 seconds. That works a treat. It comes up really, really well. And time to put to the two halves of the spotlight together. And of course a bit of filling. Turns out a lot easier if I do it with the finger. Except for some of the corners. And back to the finger again for the cape. Using my finger that just goes along with the contours of the cape a lot easier. Now I'm using a liquid uh, glue here. Uh, for the edges and that just feathers the, the sides really really nicely and just blends it with the rest of the cape So I don't have to do any sanding there And just using different size uh, files I was able to get into some of the really tight corners and the curved edges there And the joints came up really nice Clean up in my workspace. Now these little uh, nuts and bolts, I actually printed on my 3D printer, and I've got various sizes of these, and uh, they just uh, snap off when I need them. And as you can see, I've got hundreds and hundreds of them, and I'm going to use them to actually um, kind of decorate the area that's gone a bit wonky, and just using a uh, CA glue also known as super glue. I'll just stick them into the corners and then uh, a little bit later in the process I'll rust them up make them look as damaged as possible now off camera I did sand uh, these four uh, quarters with a huge belt sander, I thought it was just the quickest way. Fortunately, I did have a bit of an issue in the middle where it went a bit wonky. Got a bit of a big joint there, but don't care at all because that gets covered, uh, covered by the plate, as you can see there. I've done the undercoat uh, for the rest of the, um, the build. We'll head into the second video and uh, we'll give it a bit of a paint job.